We're going to look at the holes from the base of the skull. This is an easy place to get lost and, uh, again, pretty intimidating. So let's start by looking at them from uh, each bone's perspective. We're going to start with the occiput. And in the back of the occiput, we see this large hole, which is the foramen magnum. You'll see the spinal cord dropping from the brain stem down through the brain here. There are two holes here, and we don't want to get these confused. Underneath the occipital condyle, there is a hole we can see that actually goes right through there. And that hole is called the hypoglossal canal. And the hypoglossal canal is for the hypoglossal nerve. Um, however, do not confuse that by entering posteriorly here through the condylar canal. That's a completely different structure. You will need to know the hypoglossal canal for the hypoglossal nerve, and those are all contained within the occipital bone. Now let's move over to the temporal bone, and what we'll see is there is a hole over here between the styloid and the mastoid process, and that hole is called the stylomastoid foramen, and the stylomastoid foramen is for the facial nerve. If we go a little bit medial to that, there's a large, rather um, rough, uneven looking hole here, and this is called the jugular foramen. And the jugular foramen is for the internal jugular vein, the glossopharyngeal nerve, the vagus nerve, and the accessory nerve, so that's why it's so large. And then just superior to that is another hole, and that's the carotid canal. And the carotid canal is going to be for the internal carotid artery only. And those are the holes of the temporal bone. Stylomastoid foramen, jugular foramen, and carotid canal. Now in the sphenoid bone, there's a few holes here too that you'll be responsible for. Let's start... Um, at the medial aspect and we're going to look at the we're just going to make a little uh, mnemonic for our so a little acronym LOS L O S this is the foramen lacerum and the foramen lacerum is going to uh, normally be filled with cartilage it's not actually going to be a hole that we're going to typically see in adults but you can see it's rather uh, jagged around here so maybe you would lacerate yourself if you stuck your finger in there if we go from the foramen lacerum over, like I said, normally filled in, to this oval hole, this is called the foramen ovale, and the foramen ovale is for the mandibular branch of the trigeminal nerve. So LO, and here's our S. This is foramen spinosum, and the foramen spinosum is going to be a little bit lateral to the foramen ovale.